Hey everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Simone and I'm an Italian professional photo videographer. And in this channel, we explore strategies and tools to improve our photography business and productivity. Many times it happened that I did all the editing, cool overlays, night reflections, and then I needed to change the format of the picture and I messed up everything. You usually develop your own favorite style with time, but it's useful to have some solid basics. In this video, I'm going to use Lightroom Classic, but this is exactly the same thing as using Lightroom Mobile. So take out your phone and start editing with me, or simply take some notes if you want to implement all these things later on. Editing photos when you're a beginner might be a mess. You kind of always arrive at that certain no return point. So let's click reset all and let me show you my editing workflow. The first thing that you want to make sure to adjust is the geometry. And this means adjusting the horizon level and eventually some lens correction if there is any distortion. So let's take a look at this picture, for example. I can see that the horizon is not straight. So I have a few options on how I can fix this. Eventually I can use this angle function and then I just need to drag the horizon level to make it straight and it's already better. Or I can simply adjusting just using the crop function and then moving left or right. And this is exactly the same as in Lightroom Mobile. So let's say this one looks good and there we go. If we take a look at another example, we can notice that this is pending towards the right. So what I can do in this case, just simply going into geometry, just use auto right here. There you go, now it's so much better than before. Let's try to use also the others and see which one works best. Okay, this one, no. I think auto works perfect and there we go. We have already a straight and much better image. Second thing that I do is adjusting the format. So we need to understand where do we want to post this photo? Is it an IG feed? Is it on Reels? Is it on TikTok? Where, where do we want to post this photo? And then we go again in crop and then we pick the format that we want. For example, if you want to post on vertical and IG is four by five and we click, there you go. From now, time to adjust the composition. In this case, by following the rule of third, which is this grid that you have right here. If you don't know what the rule of thirds is, is the most powerful composition rule probably that is out there in photography. And I leave the video up here if you want to check it out later. By following the rule of third, we just need to fix this image and having one third of the grass and two thirds of the kind of London eye, myself and the sky. Moreover, if I want to make it perfect, it would be best to have me on the left line. So let's see if we can make it happen. Very good. Now, if you want to change this grid while you're in this position, you can click the, you can click O and then this is going to change the grid that you are seeing on your cropping tool. Or if you don't want to click O by going manually and see which one are there, you can go in tools, crop guide overlay, and then you can pick the one that you want. So let's say golden radio, triangle or center, or let's leave it thirds for now and we click OK. Usually at this point, I import the photo in Photoshop and for example, remove all the people that are there or clean the image or remove unwanted objects. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna leave it like this. The next thing that I do is usually current balance. And this is about the temperature of the image. It's always best to adjust it directly in the camera when you're shooting, but then you can also use it in post-production to either adjust it or to create some certain type of mood that you want. So in this case, if I want to make it more kind of warm tones, which I would, I can drag the temperature towards the yellow and that's pretty much it. So I went from this to kind of this warmer tones. Later on, I'll show you how you can increase details using some specific tools here in Lightroom. And then to adjust the temperature, you can also play around with the tint. Let's say if you want a more girly color, usually we drag it towards the magenta for like couple pictures. Or if you wanna have it maybe more dramatic, it's more towards the green kind of concept. But let's leave it kind of as before. Yes, like so. Then the next step would be to adjust the light and do basic adjustments. And here we are in the basic panel and we just need to play around with the exposure, maybe increase like so here. Don't worry about this part, we're gonna darken this later and make it nicer. And then maybe wanna increase the contrast a tiny bit, decrease the highlights, there you go. So we are bringing back details where they disappeared right here. And then maybe increase the shadows so I can see more of myself here and then maybe decrease the white and decrease the blacks. Even here, you just need to play around 
with the sliders. There's not really one rule for every picture because every picture has different condition and therefore requires different adjustments. Then one last thing, I always try to decrease the texture and decrease the clarity a tiny bit. Very nice. And then the vibrance may be slightly lower, saturation slightly lower as well. And then we're good now. The next step that I usually do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell because it really helps me a lot making better pictures. It's important to just do it now before to the next part, which is uh, colors. Most of the times I start by using some presets, but if I'm in the mood, maybe I start from zero. And here's what I do. Usually I go in the HSL or color tab and I always start with the most present color in this photo. For example, here we can start either with the blues or and I'm gonna drag the U towards the left to make it more dramatic. I just need to desaturate these colors before and after. We just did a bit of adjustments, but already a huge difference. Then the next color to adjust would be the greens. And then we drag it towards the yellow because I prefer this kind of dramatic effects. And even here, we desaturate a lot the greens. Maybe decrease the luminance as well in this case, because I don't want to distract the viewer to look at these green right here. And then we are gonna darken up this part as well later on. Then in this case, because I'm a little bit dull my colors, I can go in the orange, which correspond every single time to the skin colors and increase the saturation to balance the decrease in vibrance and saturation that we did before on the over image. And then I'm gonna increase the luminance a tiny bit. There you go, and we're good. The next and last part that I usually do in pictures is touch upon details. And to do this, I usually use rigid filters, graduated filters, or brushes. So in this case, I start with a graduated filter right here, and then I'm gonna activate this one right here with this better and then decrease the exposure. Why I do this? Because I want the focus of the picture to be the center. And therefore I don't want the viewer to be distracted by the foreground element. And this is why we darken this part. And I think that's good enough. And one more thing that I want to do is to create a fake reflection coming from the left of the picture, which is the brightest. So I'm just gonna create a filter right here so we increase quite a lot the exposure and we increase the temperature quite a lot. Then we increase the feather. And from here, we're gonna adjust and see which one works best. So we can move it around, maybe make it bigger, tiny bit, there you go. Maybe the exposure is a little bit too much so we can always decrease. Then one more thing that I want to do is try to create the contrast with this yellow here from the sun to the other side. So I'm gonna create another big ridge of filter and then drag the temperature this time towards the blue. There you go. And from here, you can see that there is a difference from this part which has blues inside and this part which has yellows because it's a kind of sun reflection. And this is the final picture. I can see it from before and after. Now, by no means, this is the only way to edit a picture. Again, with time, you might figure it out that this is a stupid system and might not work for you. And therefore, you'll decide to mix up a bit all these things and find your own way. I'd love to know in the comments what's your order of editing and what would you do differently than me. So, yeah, let me know. If you're into photography, definitely check out this video where I talk about some editing mistakes that you should avoid as a beginner. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.